Here is a family, door family, which is preloaded in our Reddit. I have adjusted and modified it to create some opening on the door. It will open based on this and then let's say you want to do this and then click apply and then click ok and you can, and you can also close it see the and then apply and ok now let's go in 3D view let's see in shaded you can see the Actual door, it's transparent. So let's set it into the door was set to be a transparent door. So let's use the angle. It's a bit 45 degrees open. Hit apply, and you see the door is as open based on our. Theme. So how to create this? parametric door angle and modify the existing uh, door family from it. So here we're going to edit this and let's say this let's not make it into a transparent door and when you shoot it it's a solid door. You can have it solid because now you can actually open the door and no need to have the transparent material so how to create uh, let's close this part let's say no I have here is my initial family which is the single flash metric door uh, the size is 900 by 21 so we're going to edit this family to make it parametric with the angle so let's duplicate it uh, so we have to still maintain the original one. Here is the line of the angle, and let's modify or edit this element using the edit command. So we here when it open up, this is the shaded one. First, we need to delete the existing door panel. We need to change it anyway. We have to delete. It. Here we go to the floor. Let's expand this first. Ground floor. Let's expand it. Now here is the symbol for the door. Let's we don't also need it because we're going to create a line that will actually help to show us symbolize this opening and closing of the door. Here we need to create a reference plane first for the hinge. We need it as our reference. Now let's create a reference line. Let's put it at the angle so we can easily see it. Make sure it's in the intersection. And we need to make sure this is locked in the X and Y reference. So let's make sure it's locked. Actually, if you can see, it's locked on this line, but not locked on this line. So let's do it. Thank you. It's locked. Now it's locked here and locked here. So that will make sure this is our hinge point or rotation point. Let's set the dimension and make this dimension follow the width. So this is the original panel for that, so we just want it. Now let's create an angle then a parameter here. Following this, this is the hinge point, so we start from here. Now let's create a parameter. Let's, let, let's place a name as angle. Sorry. Graphics, we don't need the dimension, just show it as graphic and type it as uh, it can be instance or it can be type. So, either way, we can do it. So, let's do this type first. Here, we can test the family. 
uh, first the parameters, let's say 40 degrees, the line should move, the line should move upward 60, so it's still locked in this point. Now let's create the symbol for the part. Once the door opens and close, we can set it here. So let's use the annotate and let's use the so we can use the metal line to create the art. Let's use a center ends art link. Okay, we need to select again in this intersection as our center point. The start point is here and the art is here. So let's make sure, let's select this and make sure the center mark is visible. Here again, we're going to need to move first the center arc and make sure it's a lock in the X and Y position. So let's select here, align. So let's set up the reference. We made a mistake, I made a mistake. So it's not. Reference and lock. So let's make sure it's locked in this position to when so when the angle changes, it also changes. So let's make sure this is also locked here. And this point is also locked into this point. So let's stop it. Now let's have this dimension. Let's label it same as the angle. So just have to copy it. So now let's test the parameter again. Let's either we change it here. Let's set 90. Click apply. As you can see, the reference line and this simple line has also followed the 90 degrees angle with the same set of uh, rotational point. So now we have created here. It's now time to create the door panel. In order to do that, we have to go to the 3D view. Let's set this into minus 2D. Let's find a nice place to place it in our We have to create here and let's set the work plane first. Let's set the work plane and pick up it. Here is our reference. Click that until it's vertical. So our, we can do our door profile in the vertical position. So here, now we can create extrusion. Select the point, end point. Ah, sorry, let's select the rectangle. Select the pinch point. And if you can see, it goes to the 900, maintain it, and go a certain dimension, maintain it, this point. So I have. I should have locked it, so let's maintain it again. And maintaining that one, then we'll lock it into position. Now let's create a dimension for the door height, for the panel height. This one will follow the height. So now we have to create the same height with the opening and the panel. So let's now go to here and then modify extrusion to check and let's set the thickness of the pad. Let's set it at 50 and let's set the material to, to without the transparent. Apply and let's see if it's shaded. See how it looks like. So this is the open position of the door in plan view. It's in an open position. Let's hide the dimensions first. Here is the symbol. Here is the dimension. So let's go and change the angle to 60 degrees. Click apply. See the door orientation and path has changed. In in 3D, we will see it also change in the orientation. So let's load it into our project. Make sure you save it in a different types or different name, otherwise, all the family that has the same name will be changed to this type of parameter.
Meaning it doesn't hurt because you have another option now of the beating and the beating parallel. Yes. Yes. And then I fix this to the top. Let's insert the door now. We use our door and lock with the 90 degree button. We still have that option to change the orientation. Now let's also change the angle. Let's make it 45. Apply and then click it. So that is how to create the parametric door. Here you can see it's we have placed the new door on this side. Let's remove this. Place it on this wall. You can see the material. And once we change this angle, we can change it to either zero degree. Yeah. Yes. Click OK. It closes up, and let's open up to ninety degree. So now you can have the door open and close in any, in, in any angle in 3D. So that is how to put it. Or to modify an existing door panel or door type and make it parametric with any. Then you can also actually this now, you can highlight it. There's no issue with it. Go to modify, thickness, set invisible, double click it, and it's gone. So that's it's just the way to adjust it once you edit it again. 45. Apply. So do not worry about that line. But not the line, you can either use a symbolic line, but it doesn't, you can easily hide it in the tree. Thank you.